Hey guys, so I'm gonna be honest with you. These past past few weeks, probably about a month to two months, I have really been neglecting my tank. I've done maybe one water change in the past two months. I haven't cleaned the algae reactor out at all, mostly because I was planning on doing video on the algae reactor and I was saving it for that, and I didn't expect it to take me this long to get to a video for this. But I'm doing it now. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the maintenance that I do to my algae reactor, and my tank is still doing pretty well, and I owe all of that success to the algae reactor itself. There's no way that I should have been able to neglect this tank as much as I have, and for it to still look as good as it does, except for the algae reactor doing what it does best. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do the maintenance for that. All right, so algae reactors like this one on nano tanks are super easy to care for. Um, I have a towel draped over mine just because uh, the light runs on the opposite schedule as my uh, main light. So during the night, it would really, uh, it'd be pretty bright and it'd be hard to fall asleep with that light. So I just cover it up the same with this towel too. I just covered up the best I can to, to trap the light. So the first step is to go underneath and turn off the pump that is feeding the algae reactor. All right, so now I'm gonna disconnect the tubes. Once you get the algae reactor disconnected, it's as easy as just pulling it off and then um, unscrewing it. Now, because I have this uh, towel covering the algae reactor, I haven't seen it at all. I have no clue what it looks like in here right now, but it hasn't been cleaned out for two months. And I can only imagine how packed it is with the Kato. Um, so you guys are gonna be seeing it for the first time with me. Look at that. It's uh, two months of growth right there. That's incredible. All right. So once you have your algae reactor undone, you have these four screws up here that you're just gonna loosen. The top pops off and then um, you pull the center tube up and everything just comes out. Uh, let's see how smoothly this goes. So there you go. Uh, it's completely unpacked. And man, this is, this is packed. I mean, that is solid. That's a lot of growth. Um, geez, I mean, if I could take this off. <laughs> Look at that. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. All right, so slide that back on. I'm gonna probably break about three fourths, maybe a little more. We'll see. All right, so uh, that's basically it. Now I'm just gonna reverse everything I did, put the top back on, and we're done. All right, so once you get it hooked back up, the very first thing you wanna do is make sure there are no leaks. Anything external on the tank like this, it is very, very important that there are no leaks because this will just completely drain your tank. And if you have an auto top off, that's gonna make the salinity drop to close to zero like I did in um, one of my other videos. So very important, anything where the water is coming out of your tank, that you make sure there are no leaks. All right, and uh, that's all there is to taking care of your algae reactor. And if you take care of your algae reactor, 
I guess maybe once every two months, it'll take care of you and your tank, as you can see here.